What's up Trofianta? Merry Christmas! We have a holiday sale in the PlayStation Store and the sale is huge. It almost feels like the entire PlayStation Store is on sale. This is a specific video for the people who only want to spend a small amount of money. I want to show you now some fun games you can get for less than $2. A few of them are easy platinums and a few of them are not so easy. So let's jump right into it. The first three games are The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing 1, 2 and 3. You can get each game for less than $2 and there is also a bundle available where you can buy all three games for $4.50. It's a hack and slay game and a very good one, especially for less than $2. So if you're looking for some fun but challenging Platinums, check out The Incredible Van Helsing games. Please keep in mind the Platinum difficulty and time varies from game to game. I personally only completed the first game but it was really fun to play. If you are looking for a more easier Platinum check out Devious Dungeon and Devious Dungeon 2. I already completed both games and each game was really fun to play. There are random generated levels so each run is a bit different. It is also possible to upgrade your character by different weapons and items. There are also some different boss fights and like I said before the game is really fun and it's a relatively easy Platinum. Each game will roughly take you 2-3 to three hours. The first game is just 80 cents, so why not give it a try. The next game is an all time classic Duke Nukem 3D. If you haven't already played the game, now it's a good time. Definitely one of the best and most fun shooter games from the 90s. The game has also some cheat codes which will allow you to get the platinum within 3 hours. If you want to unlock all the trophies by yourself without using cheats, you will probably need around 10 hours. Pretty fun game, but of course only for Shore fans. The next one is really a beautiful game and everyone should have played The Old Man's Journey. It's an adventure game with a really hard running story. The gameplay is pretty simple and it's nothing really special at all, but the heart of the game is the story. And as a bonus the game is a very easy platinum. There are some missable trophies, but the game is very short, so it's not really a big deal if you miss something. Definitely a great indie game with a lovely story. The next game is a bit of a surprise because it's super cheap Anthem for just $1.80. Even if you don't care about the game, probably still a must buy. Trophy wise still an easy platinum, but time consuming. The game has a very bad start, but it got a lot of updates and patches and people report that the game is now a lot better. The next game I mentioned already a few times on my sale videos, football game now just $1. The game is in very easy platinum and can be completed in less than one hour. But believe me it's not about the trophies and it's not about the graphic, the heart of the game is the story. And small spoiler, at the end you will still don't know what happened, which makes the game very interesting. So why not give the game a try for just $1 and if you played it, come back here and tell me in the comment section below what do you think about the game. The next game on my list is this trend which is a horror indie adventure game. I enjoyed this one a lot more than the second one, definitely worth the $1.20 if you ask me and it's an easy platinum. If you need help on some trophies or something you can find a platinum walkthrough on my channel. The next game on my list is Oxen Free. the game received only positive reviews. And a lot of people say it's the best indie game they have played. Another game where the main focus is the story and not the gameplay. The next game focuses more on gameplay than story and is called Riddle Corpses X. This one is also cross by between PS4 and PS5. This game is a short but super fun twin stick shooter game which can also be played couch co-op. The difficulty is perfect, it's not too difficulty and it's not too easy. I really enjoyed this game, I had a lot of fun with it, especially if you play the game Couch Coop. The next game on my list is Intruders Hide and Seek. Instead of $20 you can buy the game now for just $2. It's a really good game and I really enjoyed this one and it's an easy platinum. But it's not really scary at all to be honest, especially if you play the game without PlayStation VR. However, definitely another worth playing platinum game for $2. And last but not least is the fighting game I am the hero. It's a relatively easy platinum but you still have to work for it. The game was way better than I expected. So guys this was my list for games which are worth playing for less than $2. I know there are plenty of more games available in the sale for less than $2 but I think I picked up the best ones. 
If you have any suggestions, let me know it in the comment section below. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for the attention. See you in my next one.